Hi, I'm Sue Carney. Welcome to another look at how I do layers. Pouring over a pour, over a pour, dot, dot, dot. And the fun I'm having with swipes and the wild variety of tools you can use to make beautiful fluid art. Predominantly with swiping, although I never use just one technique, as you probably have noticed by now. Now, this is one of the most common ways that I do pouring in layers. I painted this background a flat magenta, and I let it dry. And now I'm pouring just my pouring medium. In fact, this is straight up Floetrol that I am pouring and covering the entire background with it. Now that I've got a base, I can make a pour. I've decided to do an open cup swipe. And for some reason, I decided to do a cup inside a cup as if I was making a boiler maker. I don't know why. I went for it. I poured colors in different order inside the little cup and then in the space between the little cup and the big cup. It seemed like a great idea at the time. But after seeing the results I got, I'm not so sure I'll stick a cup inside of a cup again anytime really soon. I call myself a lifelong learner for a reason, partly to remind myself how much fun and exciting discoveries are available when I just try shit, as I'm doing here. This is my favorite part, watching the paint begin to seep out underneath the open cups as I'm filling them. Now, I'm a real beginner with this technique. This is my third or fourth time, I think, doing this. But I'm getting a feel for letting the paint slowly glide along the surface of the wet base, in this case, just my pouring medium, and slowly letting the paint disperse in a path on the canvas. Notice how those cells form as I move the cup. I play with how much I tilt the canvas and how much I stretch the paint. I'm new to learning about cells and what makes them, and I really like to keep mine when I get them nice and round, so I don't want to stretch them out too much. I went a little bit too far from this point, and you'll see the finished piece doesn't quite look like what I ended up with here. In order for me to make technique videos that might actually be useful to you, that's what I'm going to focus on, and I'll worry about composition after I turn the camera off. But wait, there's more. I grabbed a palette knife, one of many, and I took a popsicle stick and spread some of my mixed paints on the bottom of the stick. Two, sometimes three if I'm feeling really ballsy. And I grab the knife and turn it upside down and slowly drag it across the surface of the wet paint to create another swipe. Okay, listen to the music, enjoy watching what I did, and I'll pop in with a couple of parting words at the end.
here's where that orange swipey tool failed me. I just don't like those thin squiggly lines in the bottom left and the top right. So I took a second pass at it, which I completely forgot to record with my camera. Here's what I got.